Hello friends, Hattie here with Honeybee Stampers. I am live for our happy hour. I'm excited to be here. I've got a cute little project to share with you and it features some retiring products. So you're gonna wanna pay attention. Some of the stuff is just flying off the shelves and I don't want you to miss out. So today is Sunday, April 14th. And if you're watching live on you on Facebook, hello, welcome, let me know that you're here. And same with YouTube, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, because I do upload this to YouTube as well. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, so this is the project that I'm gonna showcase for you today. Like I said, the items that I'm sharing with you here are retiring. I just got online and checked to see if the item has sold out because stuff is like selling out. I will go and I'll see something and be like, great, I'll place an order for that. And then I go to place my order and it's gone. So I don't want that to happen to you. But this is a cute little stamp set. One of my favorite stamp sets actually. When I saw the new uh, mini catalog when it first initially came out. Oh, I had the stamp set. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. When I first saw it, I thought, oh my goodness, this is so adorable. I need to get this. And it pairs well with a punch that we have. This punch is currently in stock. It is low inventory. It's the modern oval punch. So definitely, I mean, you could even go and place your order now and then come back and finish watching this later. Like that's how fast things are selling out. Uh, I believe the modern oval punch will be carrying over. So I guess there's not that big of a rush in order to get it. But I wanted to make sure that you guys were aware that it's back in stock because a lot of people have been waiting quite a while for that punch. Okay, so filled with happiness. This is a stamp set out of the mini catalog. It's out of this one right here. And it is retiring. So it's gonna be selling, um, probably selling out, I would assume, uh, before the end of the month. So make sure if you're interested in it that you grab it. And I did a catalog walkthrough of the mini catalog and I have yet to do one of the annual catalog to show you what's retiring. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But this is the project that we're gonna make. Here's our host code for today. Um, definitely I will pin it up to the top or in the comment section in the bottom so that you know uh, to use that so that I can get credit and I do appreciate your orders so much okay so let's talk about this project and this box so not only did I use this stamp set but I also used this designer series paper it looks like such a mess in this packaging right now but this is the delightfully eclectic 12 by 12 designer series paper. I'm gonna pull it out and show you some of the pieces and I do have some samples of some projects to show you of products or projects that I've made using this paper. So we've got this pattern right here. That's the other side. I've used both of those, that's super fun. And then this one, the punches that coordinate with this pattern right here, um, they don't punch this out because it's larger than this little X right here, but it's the same shape. Those punches are, are retiring as well, and I believe they are on sale, but they're, it's a double punch set. And then we've got this one. This might be the only pattern that I didn't do anything with uh, out of this pack of paper. And I, as you can see, I use these little slivers here. We'll be using this side of the paper today. We've got this piece here that's like a yellow, and then we've got some flowers on this side. This I definitely use quite a bit, the pink and white stripes. Those are really fun. And then on the other side, I've got a pretty flower pattern. And this one, you'll see a card that I did featuring that with like a little floating technique at the end of the video today. And then this is kind of like a ledger type thing. You'll see a bigger piece later. Um, I don't think I actually did anything with this pattern, but not that I wouldn't because it's super cute. And then the daisies are on the other side. And of course, I couldn't locate all of the projects that I have created over the course of this catalog, um, but I'll share with you the ones that I did, that I was able to grab. So this is a really large paper pack. It's not, um, let me actually see how many, this is called Delightfully Eclectic. Um, so instead of being $30 for this paper pack, because it's a huge thick pack, it's only $15, and I'll tell you how many pieces of paper are included. I don't have it memorized. So like it says here, it's a very generous pack of paper and it includes, come on, 48 sheets. So you're gonna get four each of 12 different. So you're gonna get four of these sheets each, right? And there's gonna be 12 different designs. So here's kind of a better view of that ledger. I'm gonna call it a ledger type paper. This is perfect for like school or something along those lines. There we go. Here's another one. So these are actually two different ones. 
one is kind of has it's more of a white it looks like it has a little bit of a pink hue but that could just be my eyes playing tricks on me and then this is more of a very vanilla so there you have those two options there and I think the punch will punch this out to this size here okay we've got some cute little hearts here and then some letters so those are fun to play with We've already seen that one. We've got this one. This reminds me of school, so this is perfect for those school projects. We've got some, and I don't think I've used this pattern either, the pretzels. Okay, that pattern we've already seen. We've already seen that one. This one, okay, I think that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. I don't have them organized. Oh, you guys haven't seen this one. So that's a very bright yellow. And then on the other side are these really pretty flowers. So that's pretty much it with that paper pack. Like I said, it's really hefty, but I'm telling you, the patterns are really fun and pretty. We are going to use this particular pattern today on our project. Okay, so you'll see it as the belly band here on this, car, on this box. Now let's talk about this box for a second. So this box is called the Envelope Treat Boxes, and these are super duper on sale. Um, you're gonna wanna grab these. I think they're only like $4 maybe, and you get 10. So it's a little bit confusing when you first read it because it'll say 20. There's not 20 in here. You'll get 10 boxes and you get 20 seals, these little gold seals to close the boxes off. I'm gonna show you how to put this box together because when I first worked with it, I was like, oh my goodness. It's a little bit confusing, but then once you get it, it's super easy. And now, now I have to see if I can remember <laughs> how to do it but I'm gonna show you this box. Um, it is food safe, so you can put food in here, cookies, brownies, whatever you want, candy, and uh, not have to worry about that. One side, this is what I would consider the outside of the box, and you can actually spritz this, you can change the color, you can brayer over it, you can do all kinds of things, you can stamp on top of it, and then this side right here is the inside, okay? So let me show you, we'll go ahead and get started on this project, I'm gonna show you how to Put the box assemble the box first and then we'll do the rest of it okay so you'll see they've already got score lines here for you my bone folder bone folder is really key for this because you want it to have nice good creases so we'll just score i mean fold along all of the score lines and give it a nice crease these little flaps and you can see that it already has adhesive for you so you don't even need adhesive to put these boxes together and these boxes are perfect for little gifts that you want to give little Cersei gifts to your co-workers perfect for school obviously right you can put lots of things in there for school I gave these little treat boxes away as a uh, as a thank you gift for my bingo that I had and stay tuned we're gonna be having bingo again really soon so hopefully you guys can join us for that because they're super fun. So you see that I've scored, I've folded on all the score lines here, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start to assemble by just taking the little backing off of that adhesive. Now I have to remember for a second here, okay. And you're going to line up the edges and pinch those together and they're pretty strong. Now, I will tell you that I did tear a few of these boxes, so you're gonna wanna be careful when you're, when you're closing the flap that you make sure that you are gentle with it. And I'll show you what I did to kinda of help me along so I didn't tear any, any more of the boxes. So, there we go. And then last one, you gotta kinda of reach in there and grab this last one. And line that up and pinch it together. Okay, you see the start of the box here, right? Now, what I did was, because I was using this stamp set right here, and it's got the little oranges on there, I wanted to find something orange themed. So I found these at Walmart. They're the Lifesaver Mints in their orange flavor. So I grabbed a bag of these and filled the boxes with these little mints. Um, before I put them in there, grab some this is our pumpkin pie cardstock, and I actually don't know the measurement on this. Let me grab it real quick for you. Mm, 
in case you want to case this. Um, and you all honestly don't even have to put anything. You don't have to put any any kind of cardstock or anything in there if you don't want to. So this is three and looks like three eighths of an inch by um, two and an eighth. Or you could do three by two. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. But you just stick it in there and I would glue it down um, so that, and you can stamp on this if you wanted to, it's totally up to you. And then you can fill your box with these little candies here. See if I have any more. There we go. Okay, now here's the part that I want you to be careful with, is you're going to slide this piece in here like this. Okay, just real gentle, and that kind of holds it in place there. And then when you go to do this part right here, this is the part that I where I tore it quite a bit because I was like trying to pull it to connect the two ends. But what you want to do is just kind of slide it a little bit like this, okay? And then I used my bone folder or your take your pick tool to kind of push this piece outward this way, just gently so that I could snap it together. Um, when I was pulling with my hand, I was typically tearing the corners here, and that's what you don't want to do. And then you can push it together. There we go. And now it's locked into place, and it's just a cute little envelope box, right? Um, then they come with the 20 seals. So there's 20 of them, even though there's only 10 boxes. And you can place the seal on here. So you can do it this way. I, I'm going to put it this way because that's the direction that I have the box the decoration on top going. So how cute would this be? Even as a wedding favor, you wouldn't even have to do another thing. You could just buy a bunch of these and put this little gold seal on there and they would look so beautiful for a wedding, a baby shower, a bridal shower, something along those lines. And for only like $4.20, I think, for the 10 of them, that is a steal. So there's that, our box is stuffed. Now let's go ahead and decorate the front of it. So this is again, how it's gonna look. Um, let me grab my stamp set. When I created these boxes, I actually did like faux watercoloring because I wanted to, to go really fast. I had a lot of people that I was giving this to. Um, but for this one, we're just going to color with markers because it's easy. Let me grab a block. You like think you're prepared, but then you're never not. Okay, so it's a photopolymer stamp. So we're gonna wanna use a Stampin' mat to be able to get a good image. And then I'm gonna grab some scrap basic white and some, I'm gonna use Memento Black on this one. I think I used Stays On Black for this because I was watercoloring. But since we're just gonna use our marker and you can use um, Stampin' Blends would work really well. I'm just grabbing our markers for this demonstration our Stampin' Right markers. Okay, so I've inked it up. It looks like it needs a little more ink over here. So the words, it's a good day for a good day, that's, that doesn't really matter because we're gonna punch that out. Okay, so there's our image there. And then we'll let this dry for a second. And while that's drying a little bit, I'm gonna show you our belly band. So like I said earlier, I use the um, eclectic paper, the delightfully eclectic paper, and I use this side. Could also use this side, so wouldn't that be really pretty for a bridal shower too? So I use this side of the paper here, and this measures um, eight inches by two inches. I made it a little bit narrow here. <clears throat> because I was making a lot of them again and I wanted my paper to kind of go far. But if you wanted to make it larger or the, the belly band a lot thicker, you totally can. You can just switch it up however you want to. So I'm just gonna wrap it around like this, okay? And we'll adhere it with some tape on one side. Okay, just like that. And then it's um, it's tight, but you can still slide it off. So it makes a nice little belly band. We'll slide that back down. And then I had some orange, like retired orange. Let's see here, where is it? Ribbon. 
And so I use that to tie in the color. So we'll wrap that around here. I think this is Misty Moonlight is the color. Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy. So you could use that. You could use some white ribbon if you had that. Um, but I just had this extra orange ribbon left over and I just pumpkin pie ribbon and I loved it. So I wanted to use it. So make a little knot there and then simply trim out the end like that. Okay, now let's bring this back in here. We're gonna color it. Again, like I said, I'm using markers. On my sample, I use the faux water coloring where you pinch the ink pads together and then you um, pick it up with our water painters. Okay, that's how I colored these, but I'm not doing it that way. So let's see, we'll compare it and see how it goes. I did paint the leaves um, Misty Moonlight. So we'll see if this Misty Moonlight lightens up a little bit, because right now it's super dark. If you had Stampin' Blends, it would color even um, more even and a lot easier, I'm sure. I don't typically color with our Stampin' Write markers if I'm coloring something that's a larger image. It's If it's a smaller image for sure, you, you won't see the streaks as much, it won't be that apparent. But um, if you're deciding to color something much larger, you're gonna wanna use the Stampin' Blends or you're gonna do the faux water coloring. Okay, so we've got those leaves colored and I didn't really try too hard to cover every little inch of that leaf. Let's grab, this is our Daffodil Delight. And we'll just, now this one will be super easy to color. Color those flowers yellow. Okay. And then we'll finish with our only orange. Now let's see how this is going to work. Not too bad. You can see the streaks a little bit, but you get the point. And I don't know, did I just call this only orange? Because that's a really old color, <laughs> color name. This is pumpkin pie. Okay, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all. You guys can kind of see the difference here between faux water coloring and using our Stampin' Write markers. They leave a little bit more of a streak there. Okay, so now we're gonna take our Modern Oval Punch, which like I said to you guys, this is back in stock right now. Let me show you from this angle. Modern Oval Punch, it's back in stock, but it's already low inventory. So if this is something you were waiting for, make sure you grab it before it's gone. So I'm gonna punch this out, just simply gonna center that image there and punch it out. You could turn this into a card if you wanted to, um, absolutely. And then this is gonna go on top of the box using our Stampin' Dimensionals. Now for the sentiment, I wanted something very tiny because I didn't wanna take away from this pretty um, image on the front and put a little dimensional on either side there. And then I have some samples to share with you guys too at the end of this. So I'm just gonna center it right there. So you guys saw kind of the different stages of this box. It looked beautiful just with the gold foil uh, seal and now it's even cuter with this. And then I won't show you me stamping and heat embossing, but basically I use this stamp set, Sending Smiles, if you're wondering where I got the thanks from, it came from a note of thanks right there. I just uh, heat embossed the thanks and then I fussy cut around it, just cut around it pretty close. Now this stamp set has sold out, but if you already have it, then great. You've got all these little tiny sentiments here that you could use. And then I put this on, we'll just, where are my scissors here? Oh. I've got some mini dimensionals, I'll just use those. Otherwise I'd cut the other dimensionals down. You really only need one little mini dimensional, but we'll just stick to you on here anyway. Okay, so you will stick that right about there. I did want some of it hanging off. And then there's your project. You definitely could doll it up a little bit more with some embellishments if you wanted to make it bling out. Um, if I had to choose which 
one I liked better. I definitely like the watercoloring, the faux watercoloring, the way that looks much better than the marker, the Stampin' Right markers, okay? But they both work. So there's that. Let's share some projects with this. I should have grabbed some stuff with this, but like I said, it's sold out. Hopefully you guys got a hold of this. If you bought this, but you didn't buy the dies that coordinate with it, which have some great, like, um, has a great die that cuts out the sending there, uh, make sure that you grab that because that is, I believe, on sale as well, and it is still available for the dies. All right, so with that modern oval punch, I used that for this. This was a celebration stamp set. And then you'll see that I use the thanks from here for this card. So we've got some great sentiments here. So there's that. And then some of these are swap cards. So here's another one using that same stamp set that I used, but only they kept that sentiment in the back there. So that's really nice. Okay, and then here's another one. Um, this one uses the this stamp right here. Um, and then you punch it and you just kind of pop this layer up and you place that down into it. So there's that and that's colored with Stampin' Blends as well. All right, now let me show you some samples with the Delightfully Eclectic. So this paper, like I said, it's a hefty pack of DSP. If you didn't see me going through it at the beginning of the video, go back and watch it. So here's a lot of the patterns here. It's only $15 instead of 30, so that's a steal. Um, here is one of my favorite cards that I designed using that paper, and this is one of those floating card techniques. I did do a video on this, so check out my YouTube videos for this uh, particular card. But you use acetate to give it that floating effect. But here is one of the DSPs there. Um, here's another one with that same floating technique. Okay. And then here's another version of that. This is one of the designer series papers that was in there. This was a fun fold that I did with my team as part of our mystery stamping. So, oh, I forgot. I didn't even need to do that. I think I did that last time I showed this off. I thought it was something I had to open. Okay, so obviously this has been a while since I designed this card. It was around Christmas time. But, so there's that paper, and you open it up, and you'll see that paper again, and then you've got... It like that okay and here's the punch that I mentioned earlier that kind of coordinates with that so super fun here's more of that designer series paper right here these are sweet and simple cards from our sweet and simple card class and then here's another one featuring that pink paper I have lots of samples with this pink and white stripe and then here is another floating card technique. I really loved making this one. Um, this right here is the pattern paper that's part of that suite. And again, I've got acetate behind it, and that's what creates that floating card look. Really love that. So there are some samples. I have a ton more. I just got to locate them. You know how that is. So make, make sure that you are looking into that. So I hope that you guys like this project. Remember, it is perfect for schools, for your neighbors, for your coworkers, for weddings, for bridal showers, baby showers, all the things. You can decorate this so many different ways. As you can see, it was super easy to put together. You can fill it with even, um, it's food safe, so you can fill it with anything, even homemade goodies. And you can leave it as is, or you can decorate it. And again, 10 boxes for only like $4, I wanna say $4.20, okay. So there's that. Don't miss out on these fun projects. Um, stay tuned to hear more about uh, Stampin' Bingo that's coming up. And last call for Honeybee, uh, the Honeycomb Club. So that's the monthly card club that I do. We're going to be featuring Perennial Lavender suite of products for this one. And the in-person one is here at the studio the last Saturday of this month. And then if you want it to go, if you want to order it, so that you get it shipped to you and you get the tutorial on how to put the projects together, then you can all definitely do that. If you lock in the rate this month, then you'll get it for the rest of the year. Otherwise in May, the rate is going up by $5. So save some money and sign up for our club today. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Let me actually go over and check. I always forget this part. Go over and check and see if there's any comments or questions for me. I'm going to try to hop on and do a video where I 
walk through the annual catalog and what's retiring and some of the stuff that's on sale because I did mark up the catalog quite a bit. So you'll see like this designer series paper, which is really pretty, is on sale for only $8.75. And all of this is retiring. So there's some stuff, like for example, this right here, if I have an SO on it, it's sold out already. So I can um, showcase that stuff to you guys. Let me see here if there's any questions or comments for me before I hop off for the day. Oh, hi, Deb. Thank you. Hi, Peg. Yes, these are the cutest little boxes. Make sure you grab them, you guys. You're going to want them. And they store, they store in this packaging right here, and they store flat. So if you're not ready for them right away, just grab a stock of them so that you have them and you're ready for anything for church, for school, anything, honestly. And you'll have them um, in your arsenal to put together some really cute packaging. All right, guys, have a great day. Um, oh, I forgot to do my drawing. Okay, so I need to, I'll have to hop back on because I don't have it, my list with me. Thank you for sharing last week's video. I have a drawing I need to do for um, these embellishments right here. Several of you shared the video, so I'm going to have to do that. Um, I might hop on and do that drawing when I do the catalog walkthrough. Maybe that's what I'll do. But um, I will have another prize for you guys if you share this video as well. So please do share the video, comment, like, subscribe, all the things. All right, guys, have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.